and loudly. The alcoholism is an escape of, uh, you see, like frustrations, not feeling good enough. Because that's what I'm saying, like, if you look at it today, in your case, you feel like uh, you can ignore somewhere in bush for alcoholism. That's why I'm asking this, because we have seen a few men who are good, they get married, and near plus, they start drinking. And also peers. They are peers. Mm -hmm. Friends. Yeah. Your peers may be taking you back to the clubs. Maybe they are telling you, when in Jinga Sanu Kunyongi Pombe. When now things get worse, you remember those words. So you do what they wanted you to do. I see. But of course, who's the trigger? You have to look at the trigger, you see. Because what I, what happened is, I might be feeling weak, but uh, I was not drinking. But when I gave my woman to her heart, and the woman showed me no affection, oh, my wife made me feel I'm a failure. I needed to feel good. I needed to avoid feeling myself as a failure. So, where is the escape? Alcoholism. Mm -hmm. You see how it and, is? And let me, let me say, according to the latest report mm -hmm. about alcoholism, mm -hmm. Mount Kenya and Nyanza were leading. Reasons, Mount Kenya women Nyanza women have one characteristic in, in common. Which is that? They are too ambitious. Mm -hmm. They are overconfident. The things they say to their husbands, mm -hmm. sometimes, even if you don't feel like you needed to drink, mm -hmm. you'll have a drink. You say they are ambitious or the lack, you say like it's possible, I'm ambitious, but the way I express my ambition is in a humane way. Do you feel they are ambitious or they have narcissistic characteristics? They are, they are too ambitious. See, like, and uh, they want to be, they want to be, you know, in any, in any, in any position. They want to be the man, they want to be the woman, they want to be in every corner. I feel like the best time to define that would be more of a, they have narcissistic tendency. Where you want to feel your power. You want too much, too much power. You want to control. Yeah, that's it. No, no. Because you see, like, uh, that is not even called ambitious. Because you see, like, uh, I can have a woman who is ambitious, who pushes me to work hard, who is still making me feel I'm a man enough. Because what happens is, you can push a man to work hard, and you can push a man to break. Mm -hmm. Just like as a man, I can push my wife. Because as a queen, we are just a foolish woman. How do you stay at home without working? I'm pushing to work hard, but I will break you. The mother said, you are a foolish woman. I'm breaking you. And I feel like uh, somehow, alcoholism may form of a... tell us a big picture of how a boy child is no more. Because I believe when a man is confident enough, believes being a man is not about even having money. I'm good enough. I will not allow someone to say, I'm not good enough for you. And the problem is, women are scared when it comes to using their mouth. Okay. Women know how to pick the right word to destroy and the right words to build. Very true. Because a woman can tell you something that is bad. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're get bummed. I'm part of the Do you think whatever you have said, if I was to put to replace me with you and reflect those words to you, how do you feel? And I know that one thing, by the way, I feel even the alcoholism is tied to the when the male father figures are not there, when the, male, the boy child is destroyed, the woman grew in a family where. The woman had a lot of power. And the woman will embrace the same. And come to hurt a man who is very good. And deep down in the letter you are normal. And now my question comes to uh separately. Pregnancy, 
nitoja kuja tu kuja weekend haya inasikia kutafika <laughs> I told you I was pregnant in kwa 6 months so I got like pregnant kabisa we were okay I needed a child mm-hmm. but you have another discussion I don't I know so you needed a kid I needed a child but because, the man was not ready because I felt that is the only person who would see the you no know, the positivity in me okay now i get you that i do you mean that um before putem proto you felt there was a space that in your life and you felt a kid will feel that yeah space. i felt there was space in my life that needed to be filled so as soon as possible being sincere we can see that uh Jenna is not that you are too ready to have a kid it's only that you felt someone need to fill your space in my life and I can believe a kid is good because a kid has I had will always be on my side mm. right so that there was no discussion between I think I need a kid what do you think do you need to be a kid because I've come to understand that um, the biggest challenge as a man is sometimes you're not given a chance to decide whether you want to be a father or not mm. Some men who are called deadbeats. Yes, they are deadbeats. But the question is, did you ask them whether they want to be a father? Sometimes I'm I'm not I'm ready to date you. But I'm not ready to be a father. Because I feel being a father is not about providing. I don't have enough time. I need to be mature to fix my trauma before I get a child. What do you say about that? I would say that women can trap men mm. into becoming fathers mm. unwillingly. Mm-hmm. And and men mm. also can trap women into becoming mothers mm. unwillingly. Yes. It is both ways. Because there are there are things there are things as a mother you need to be prepared mm. psychologically mm. as well as the father. Mm. You need to be prepared psychologically. I'm expecting a kid mm. at this time. Mm. There are men who even knew mm. the age they want to be to get kids. Mm. So when you interrupt that before they are at that age mm. it means they were not ready they are going to frustrate you. and that's why we are having many single mothers because these men were not into getting kids they were having fun and the fun led to kids or the woman wanted a kid but never involved the man in the decision making whether they should have a kid you not knew, even, they, even. they always have that conversation they I know this guy wants a kid at that. What I'm saying is you see the like, uh, you want a kid for you. But you don't bring that to me and ask me do you feel you should have a kid? You get where well, unaanza to kutotumia dawa na kutani nimekuwa kamiba and we are pregnant. And you expect me to accept uh, to my father. Mm. It is a problem that I'm not that I have ever list and I don't that most women get mad when I ask Yes is a dad but did you give a chance to be a father? Why do you want to? because I'm not at this by the way. You see when we don't push accountability to women sometimes they forget that uh, being a father is work. And when I'm accountable to my silly decisions you know that I need sometimes to ask for the man I have. We are having fun. We should we think we should have a kid. Ndio 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 kwambia mwanaume akwambie I would like to have a kid with you but it's not enough. Do you have me to know? be well who you are before you become a family parents that's how we manage our competence in equity but because you're not used to facing and taking accountability of your actions i've had people who say that because of the fever mimi nikipata mwanaume na sasa sikia tukupata mpaka nikipata mvuto ile kwa sisi sina mpata mtoto and yes yes kata you want a kid but what about the other party why do you want to ignore that you want a kid and the other person doesn't matter Yeah, I'm a man. I want a kid, but I don't care about my wife. Girlfriend want a kids. So what that to be a sidina in Arua, ni mpe mtoto. Do you want to tell me if something happens later? This woman doesn't want to be in a relationship with you. Then you will remember you kitaka. You cannot blame that woman. Or you push. You didn't care about whether he had feelings about that. It you it was a personal decision that you should take account of it. You never believe after marriage. Ni mtoto. Ni mtoto. They don't they don't they don't know they need there is that space mm. when you are married you need to give you need to be given mm. to come to some decisions mm. 
So when people get married, even the society start gives, giving them the pressure. Mm. Ai, wow. atuoni development, atuoni ka, atuoni nini, you know. Sio sio ni grade sana. It is not fair. Mm. Because these people were not wedding to have kids. They were first to be friends. They need to be friends. They first. needed to be you know one. Mm. And swimming into one is not the same. It's not easy. What is Being in the same page it's not easy. It's not easy. Mm. So you need to give them space so that they may get in and be on the same level. Mm. So that now when they bring another human being, they are ready for this human being at the same rate. Yes. But now people expect when you get married after a month you need to see okay now development. Mm. And the society gives people pressure. Yes. Society can make you do decisions or make decisions that are going to affect you. And that's why I said that sometimes you need to stop giving a fuck. Whatever you want to be, be yourself. But no, what happened is uh I feel like uh, most of the problem that we have most broken relationships or marriages it start from not understanding the other person well. Mm. Do you understand me feel like uh, if we used to do one month to pray to mtoto mkojuana because I wanted to ask even kati mwanza mule decide let us be a couple it was three months I'm date vizuri I'm kujuana during this period of course na jambo kwa muna meet how did you did you embrace it much say or sometimes you did it because you want to please him because you somehow you like him but you're not comfortable with it no, i'd say i never thought of no i want to think because i never thought of marriage from the one yes what you were we were hmm. we started as just fuckmates <laughs> because we had nothing with arrangements so it was fwb comfortable yes we were just having fun nice. like to menda ku watch ball tumekunywa tumefanya nini tumekunywa yani we had nothing to do with the family we had nothing planned in the name family so when i found out i was pregnant i was actually very far from him i called him and i told him hey i'm pregnant six months mm. And I felt nothing. I felt no changes. I felt you know, I could e- I couldn't even tell that I'm pregnant. It and uko farm, uko unapatana. Mhm. Tulikuwa tumekaa like for all those six months that uko ipatana. So it was more by the in a car more. He kwa FWB kabisa. No attachment, no cause, no need. So if you are pregnant, now the kids been sit together. Mhm. So hata kuonana hamuonani sana. <laughs> how was the experience kuza kwanza 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 kuishi na yeye? Did you how did you feel like now you have come and started I felt like my space was being threatened. Oh, I get it now. That's what I wanted. Because because you are not, I had never lived with a man in that it's setup. Please like I, of, I wake up and see a man. Of being in the same bedroom, being in the same bed, mm. you know, doing things like unataka kufanya nini you know i was not used to say we mm. then boom we are we you feel me ah, i feel like i'm in a prison why do i have to have someone around me always like you have to report to someone everything everything you have to ask someone everything tunakula nini nataka kula nini then it was too much work. i was so i felt like i was so harassed you know So later on I found I realized I'm I'm you know I'm trolling the kid into this mess because I wanted I really felt you know the, the threat I didn't know how to handle even a kid I had never handled a baby before I didn't know a kid should be done this when it is this when it is like this then I was so green it was too much So I had to take my baby to my mom's place to yeah. stay there. It was too much. Yeah. Because I realized I'm messing I'm messing up the kid. I I at times shouted like and I'm shouting to a 6 month old baby. Because I didn't know how what to do. 
the person I would be discussing with, the person is coming even after three days drunk. So this person cannot give you any, you know, any comfort. He's worsening. This person is worsening the situation. So I had to run away. Mm. And that, that life of running away had become the norm. Every time I'm running away, running away, running away. You know, what you're running away from, you cannot even tell. Uh, now, when you start uh, staying together, you feel my independence is normal. Someone is controlling my life. Yeah, somebody is wanting to know a lot of information uh, that I cannot give. You feel I need to be responsible of someone. I can't do what I want to do when I want to do it without anyone questions. Mm. So it depends on what I in short. Yeah. And you feel like, uh, how did you feel when he asked for something from you? Something like? Let's say he demands something from you, like I want, it must say, or can you do something for me? How did you feel? How was it meeting his needs, emotional or physical? How did you feel when you were meeting them? I, I don't think I met him. Like you see, we had to argue no, about let, everything. Let, let me ask you this. What I mean is, mm. let's say, uh, maybe he wants sex. And he comes to you, to touch you like he wants sex. Maybe he had a semi directly. How did you feel when he is. I used to make the baby sleep in between. No, no, sorry, before, but I'm daughter, sorry. Mother, which is the first month. I'm giving, I want. To... I am too heavy. There's nothing I could do. Nine months, eight mm. months. Mm. I was so heavy and I, I had the dizziness. That's why I, had, I was given a long leave. Oh. I could not stand for long. I could not. I was delicate. So, that time, it was just sympathy. Mm. Actually, it was, it was just sympathy. No, mm. let me cook. Let me do this. Let me do this. Let me do this. Because I used to do I live one on, I'm struggling. So, I used to help you so much. Yeah. Mm. You used to even wash clothes in the morning mm. and acha meanika before I end the job. Mm. Used to cook everything, mm. used to wash the house before Alala mm. you know. Now I think the frustration he had came mm. after doing all this to me, after healing, I still don't want to do You don't you don't want even to appreciate it. Yeah, I don't want to be part of him yes. in any way. But now the reason I've said you may a month after pushing her, you could see it just start from how you felt the first one week, the first two weeks. How did you feel with living with him? Because uh, it explained everything. The kid we made have made it worse, but the problem start from the first week. Because you know what happens? Normally, if uh, my girlfriend likes me so much, to kiss her pushing her, He'll be so happy because he can see me every day. He want to see me. Rona, uh, what happened when? Well, now the problem is we started to eat squish pamoja when we are too heavy to have fun. When we start living together, in many cases, sex is too much. But when there's something blocking you, if you build a wall against you, you do this. The first man. You feel, hey, I need to be myself. Bona swezi ya presi kwa taka kwenye sasa. Bona ni sita niki ya bia mtu wapa. Bona ni sita niki ya bia mtu wapa. Bona ni sita niki Bona, why would someone still ask you sex from, from me? Why would, why do I have to be intimate in the first place? Then as I give in birth, you know, taking care of a newborn is not a joke. Oh yes, I agree. You are drained. Of course, very drained. So when you, that kind of time you want to sleep, then someone starts. Katu unaweza mchapa. Yes, ananza kuria. Because that time then you just want to close your eyes, mm -hmm. someone starts touching you. So you feel irritated times too. Mm -hmm. that, like you are tired, you have point. been with the newborn crying from morning, you are alone. So Ayani, I think I can understand what is happening with me. Yes. And this misunderstanding brought us now to that level of we cannot even face each other. Yeah, that's when I was able to before I was able to get 
So I was so much interested. You see, uh, what I have noted is, uh, women are different from men. When a woman started living with a man, he feels so good, generally. No, no. Because she wanted to, to have that person who see you. No, you take what I call a copy here. Did you feel like I want to hug him? No, no. Did you feel good walking a copy here? How did you feel? It was so good. Mm -hmm. I felt loved. Mm. Because he was so caring. Mm. So caring that you could not even think that this guy could do some things. Mm. So caring. Mm. He would even sit down and massage that belly in Pakaulala. And I could massage Mbaka Mibu Mbaka Unalala. Because I was so tired. And it was, you know, very hectic pregnancy. It was not those pregnancies that you work back at the last minute mm. in Abuza. Mm. No. So after all this, this guy felt, you know, I've done, I've, my, best. I've done my best, and my best is not best no. enough for, for this lady. He gives up. So he gave up. He shut down. And he's, so he's giving up, led him to drinking, smoking, humanizing, all that stuff. Then, as a woman, I could not take it anymore. Like your husband coming home at night or coming home after three days. It's, it's painful. It's painful. But the question is here. You pushed him. But I could not comprehend that. I could not say it is me pushing him. Yes. Because I expected him to be there regardless of... But I was pushing him yeah. out. Because so I mean, never saw my dad give up. And as I, as I said, most of us women, we look at what our dads were. And those are the men we want. Mm. Men that look like your dad. So I felt like he gave up on me very early. So meaning he was not even in love. He just he was just trying out things. But you see, the that's when you, I was so focused on those one month. I used to be patana uko na kaina jeki dogo because there's something I wanted to see. Like, did you guys bored? No, no. Did you enjoy his intimacy before patem toto? Or you still? No, just that time you were pregnant. You were too heavy. It's one thing. Even if you are too heavy, did you love him? Him, Zama. You see, like, I'm to Natumia, it as a, I'm to hear this issue as a weakness to avoid it much without knowing. No. Like, they used to tell me, like, uh, what I'm gonna, there are so many reasons not to meet him. When we were living together, mm. those two months, the Onipatem daughter, mm. this guy, we were just on, you know, so much in love mm. with each other. Said that, I won't get if Kiria, one of us will do some things. Yes. So when when things got bad, even to date, I never understood. Like how can so much love turn into so much hatred? Mm -hmm. I not get it. What happened is, you see, like when you see, like uh, this man had to do a lot. Sacrifice his sex day for four or five months with you. You see, what happened is uh, deep down, you struggled with the connections. The first few months, British for water, it was fun because until you felt any of the man and And what happened sometimes, I feel, so come here now, by you can say, ah, I really have fun with them. I'm going to be interact with them for fun. Then somehow you get connected. And you feel, ah, I think it's a good one. It's a feelings. No, no. Because uh, sometimes when I was in a situation, I was in a situation, at first, I was in a situation where I was in a stage where you are trying to form a board. Once the board is there, then you start running away from the board. Because uh, what happened is, I wish, I was in a situation, 
uh, you could have learned how to have difficult conversations because I get you are that I'm sure if he had done all that sacrifice because to be I felt like he had given out by the way mm. and the most men would break from there because men are very funny men are dogs do you see how a dog is mbwa uki feel you they appreciate who are in a fine amount if you don't show that the dogs give up no no that is it africa he gave too much and uh, you push him without knowing you are pushing him he felt unloved and recent and narrowed down to is not enjoying sex and most men the only way to enjoy it must in a relationship is through sex because most men don't understand that i want to be touched not i don't but it is on sex it's a very hard to understand that difference for men and men should do a lot of self evaluation no it's not that i want sex from my woman it's not that her touching me my body touching her most men don't know that difference and na ko be a secret you need a lot of self reflection to to understand why is it that i wanted that am and he what did i enjoy more you see it's a lot of thinking and when you pushed him he felt because you kufua you know like you kufulia bibi yangu watu wanaona afua it destroys a man because you're telling a man destroy your masculinity na jozi wana mama tukitupeni ni tunataka unaona na una kanipa bag ni karatasi ile bayi because i want to i don't want to destroy my masculine power so when my masculine power is destroyed by woman i love and the easiest way to destroy a man is to allow a man to give his best then we value that I know if I feel like I, I'm getting why uh most marriages get have, have a problem wakati mtoto anakuja because for you you want a man akusikize I feel like uh, I would say he did his best but I'm sure you got to understand like if he did an extra 6 month akuliza my dear why don't you want to me to touch you Yeah, if you tried those conversations. Do you feel like I'm dirty? Of course you may not open up. Ah, ningefunguka. Because oh. ananipea that. You see what happens to you? I know that with when you're feeling that way, it's more of an emotion unavailable. You don't feel you deserve someone. Why do you are downgrading yourself? So what happens is at first I could not hear. Rona, but with consistently asking, you you see at first you be skeptical. But he he becomes when about to tell, tell you like my dear sometimes i feel unloved i need to understand what happened that you don't want to be too much with me i'm sure i could have been around the book at all what about that recently nilimwambia your pride led us to where we are today because you could not swallow as a man you know begging for attention at times you don't beg it you just need to listen just need to show how much you love that person because being there and being not there those are two different things there are people who say things you know the more you dig and there are those who say things even before you dig mm. so we are all of us different mm. so you need to you know meeting when you are adults it's mm. not like when you are kids Yes. So you need to uh, adults you know they have that nut so hard to crack. And when you crack it don't give up. Keep on cracking the rest. I yeah. feel like uh, but adults we crack to really yet until you give up. Don't you feel that uh one he has his own trauma. You need to understand him. Maybe to him Showing you love him is the best thing he could have gotten from you. No na, he did his best, you gave zero. No na, eh uh, two coming from a place where that you were left alone as a kid, self independent. You didn't shut down. You fear being vulnerable to him. And him not pushing you to be vulnerable. Made it worse because you could not have a difficult conversations. because i believe uh, what i feel is if both of you spoke uh, if he had understood you that i may not say exactly why i'm feeling pain because see, like, if you are coming from a place where you are out to express yourself you can say immediately after before i could listen 
but on your side you're never allowed to be to express yourself so for you to express is push 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 the strategy is here when you are like that the people you attract are people who need intimacy who need connections and the problem is they also have their weakness and their weakness is sometimes that kind of a person has an anxious attachment so when you don't show that you love them they assume something is not working no you don't love me they shut down too so both of you shut down what an anxious next happen even everything becomes an argument okoaje unaniuliza nikiwa nani umeenda wapi wewe ni nani unuliza president ada we became so hostile eh we became very hostile like to an extent anything can turn to an argument mm. where like unaenda wapi because i've seen that experience where unaweza mtu unaenda wapi so unaweza wewe ulikuwa nani ama you keep quiet mm. mostly i never answered una mnyamazia tu unatoka mm. so what do you think he was thinking this woman that doesn't value me doesn't respect me and doesn't love me because to those kind of people love is communicate where you're going and me more of assurance You see when you don't say where you are going you don't give a assurance when you silent you are silent you are shut it down mm. shut it down to a person who want assurance means you don't love them and it came to a race at uh, most marriages which die is because one person became emotional and and the other partner was an actions that's what it's done for ya everything you do triggers the other person mm. If I ask you you are unaenda wapi? Umetoka wapi? To you that to see because you feel I'm controlling you. Right? Mm. And that's the problem in mekuja kusoma ni people for a man who adapts the a woman who feels like that. In the many cases una kwa actual attachment. So what you need is to be aware what triggers you as a person. And I could realize sometimes it takes a lot of time to know that this is me i'm triggered when my wife say doesn't say i love you i'm sure i don't know whether you are it was so easy for you to say i love you or you see or to you you feel a word of affirmation are not important than acts of love 